Now, tell us a little bit about how this is your biggest role in the film. Mm -hmm. So, tell us a little bit about your role in this film. Uh, well, Neville uh, sort of starts off very much like he has been for the past few years. You know, very, very vulnerable and um, very nervous and shy. And uh, he struggles to do a lot of uh, his magic because he just doesn't have the confidence. Um, but he he joins up with Dumbledore's army, and uh, with his lead, leadership skills of Harry, he, he starts to come out of his shell a lot more. And eventually, he explains to Harry exactly why uh, he is like he is. He explains about his parents who were tortured to insanity by Bellatrix, insanity by Bellatrix Lestrange. And and it's like after this, he can really open up a lot more, and and it gives him a focus as well because he knows that he wants revenge for what happened to his parents and Dumbledore's army allows him to really express this and, and with, with Harry's help he, he starts to get better and better and better and his confidence just grows and grows and by the end of the film he's just incredibly courageous and brave and actually reckless he just he doesn't care um, for his own safety anymore he just wants to make sure he's doing the right thing and that good prevails and it's, it was it was really nice to do. Wait, were you assistant directing on the on the film? Yeah, that's right. I was um, I wasn't actually on the, on the set. I was upstairs um, in like the dressing rooms, and I remember Rob Pattinson came in one morning quite hungry and demanded cornflakes. So I tried to get him some cornflakes, which um, which I think he appreciated. And what about the short story writing? Of course, your your um your your role is in one of the most successful books of all time. You write your own short stories. Oh, wow, you know that. everything. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah. Uh, I used to when I was when I was younger. I used to write, write a few a few stories and stuff. Um, cause I um, studied English language at, um, at school at A level, and uh, there's a lot of story writing there. And I don't know. I just I just love writing stories because I'm I'm quite into making films, uh, and I just suddenly get these ideas and think, oh, that'd be really good as a film. But unless I sort of write it. Then it'll never sort of happen. I mean, I've never, I've never been into. I, I just I can't get into script writing because it's just too hard. Again, I'm very lazy, but I, I just love creating my own sort of worlds and stuff. And if and, and particularly that's why I like English language writing, crime thrillers and stuff like that. It's things that are that are smart while at the same time the people can just um, they don't have to think too hard. You just, just enjoy them and go with the. Film. In this film, um, my role uh, it gets a lot more complicated than um, than the fourth one. Um, she obviously her relationship with Harry develops a lot more, um, and you know there's that. It's not just about looking at each other. There's actually you know obviously the kissing scene and um, yeah, it's it's just a really sweet sort of um, relationship they have, um, which deteriorates towards the end um, when she betrays uh, Dumbledore's army and um, so there's there's a lot of emotion involved in her character um, you know she she's really upset about you know what's happened um, she, she really likes Harry but then she's mourning over her boyfriend's death and um, she's seen you know wandering by herself most of the time um, it's just yeah it's, it's really fun to, to play to play her this time around. This was your first Acting gig, basically, yeah. and you wound up kissing Harry Potter. Yeah, <laughs> tell us about that. I mean, you're the envy of, you know, millions. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess I just I feel really lucky um, to be here. Um, when I went for the audition, I didn't think, you know, it it was such a big deal. Uh, it's just all for a bit of fun, really, and. You know that the films have got bigger and more successful um, as each one comes out, and it's just it's just amazing to be part of it all. I mean, yeah. What's been your most fabulous moment? Most uh, fabulous Harry Potter moment, whether on screen or off? Um, fabulous moment. I think it's probably um, my first premiere, um, the Goblet of Fire premiere, you know, when I stepped out of the car. It was just really strange I mean right now it's just looking back it was just a blur um, but I just remember being really happy and it's just very strange people shouting your name and um, yeah and there was a big party afterwards and then we all got to watch the film together and um, seeing all the hard work everyone's put into and yeah it's just all worthwhile yeah <laughs>
Fabulous. Thanks. Thank you for your time. Thank you very and much. And good luck with the next lots. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.